Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours, your one-stop shop for all things Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today I'll jump right into a demo test of the latest OpenXR update version 109.2111.18007. The update's available now, so if you just go into the Microsoft Store, you can update it there. And make sure you turn on the latest preview OpenXR runtime in the app. This also stops any kind of crashes that happen within the sim when switching from VR back to flat screen and vice versa. You're now looking at through the lens footage of my Reverb G2. I wanted to spend some more time testing this update before showing any videos with you, just so you can see what I'm experiencing on my system and to try and give you the most accurate illustration of what's actually happening in my headset. First of all, I can say that this update is definitely an improvement and it runs very smoothly, which is great. However, I do still find the artifacts distracting. You can see as we climb how the wing stutters and jumps around compared to the footage on the right, which is very smooth. As we climb further, it seems to get worse, but then calms down again as we get more airborne. I tried both automatic and always on and got the same results. I understand that a lot of you prefer to use motion reprojection, and this update certainly did improve things. The prop is certainly way less distracting, which makes a big difference when flying. I know there are mods out there that help with the issues with the prop, but I still find it a bit distracting compared to when I have motion reprojection turned off. I find that with my settings, I really don't get much micro stuttering, as you can see in the VR footage. I do experience some slight stutters and slow down once in a while, especially at low altitude, but for me it's the preferred way to fly, since it's so much more clear graphically than with motion reprojection enabled. I'm really curious to hear your opinions about using motion reprojection in VR with the Reverb G2, so please do let me know. It'd be great if you can try and describe the quality of the graphics you are seeing in the headset when it's enabled and how smooth you're finding motion reprojection compared to when it's turned off. And any other descriptive details that you can add would be great. I think the motion reprojection option is a hotly debated tool and comes down to personal preference, since there are definitely pros and cons for each setting. I have been getting 30 FPS when using motion reprojection, which really does run well. However, the graphics just aren't clear enough for me, so I feel the balance is still not quite there. So I'll continue to fly with motion reprojection disabled. I totally get it if you feel differently, and again, I don't think there's a right or wrong way of approaching this. I think the most important thing is to go with whichever setting you feel most satisfied with. If you haven't checked out my latest Reverb G2 test and settings video, you can check it out right here. I highly recommend it to get your headset dialed in with the sim. As always, I hope you find this content useful, so please like and subscribe if you want, and I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.